Ahem. Dear Chipotle, let this serve as my formal complaint. Over the years, I've been an avid supporter and consistent patron of your establishments. I didn't abandon you when you had your salmonella outbreak or when you launched that god-awful queso. Over the last year though, prices have gotten higher and portions have gotten smaller. So starting right now, I'll be making my beloved chicken bowls at home with double meat and guac. I may or may not still stop by on occasion for a quesadilla and to steal your napkins to keep in my car. Thank you. All right, enough with the fun and games. Meet me in the kitchen, let's make it happen. First things first, we're gonna go ahead and prep our chicken marinade. For that, you're gonna need one of these cans of Chipotle's and adobo. Now this stuff packs a little bit of heat, so you may want to uh, adjust the amount that you use depending on your spice tolerance. For me, I'm gonna use all of the juice and about two or three of the actual uh, Chipotle peppers. So, see if we can do this the right way. There's one, there's two, and there's three. And then we'll try to get all of the juice out of there. Smoky flavor, nice and rich, with a good, good amount of spice in my opinion. Now if you're a savage and you want an extra spice, you go ahead and dump all of those chilies in there. Next up, we're gonna add about three cloves of garlic. We're gonna give a real rough chop to because we're gonna go ahead and blend this up. Now you can use an immersion blender for this, or you can use a food processor or a regular blender, whatever works, Nutribullet if you got one of those laying around. Next, we're gonna add some lime zest and lime juice. One or two limes, you know, depending on the size of your lime. We'll stick with one today. Gonna to be using quite a bit of lime throughout the rest of the recipe, so. Nice and juicy lime, though. That's a good thing to see. So one lime. Then we're gonna season this up and add about a half cup of water to it and just blend it. Now, as for the seasonings, we're gonna cover all our bases with my all-purpose seasoning. It's a blend of salt, pepper, garlic, onion powder, things like that. But you can just use salt and pepper if you want to. We're also gonna use about a teaspoon or two of chili powder, followed by cumin, another teaspoon of that. And then a teaspoon of oregano, maybe a tablespoon of oregano and then a teaspoon of chicken bouillon powder. It's gonna add a little MSG, and it's gonna beef up the chicken flavor. Now for the marinade, we're just gonna use a simple Ziploc bag. You just put it in a bowl also if you want to. Can't go wrong with a good old Ziploc for your marinade. We're using chicken thighs today. Fattier, more flavor, more juicy, all that good stuff. So two pounds of chicken thighs going in. This is enough marinade for at least two pounds. You wanna do this for about an hour or two at least and up to overnight. You wouldn't wanna go much longer than about 12 hours with the marinade. So once you got your chicken and your Ziploc, we're gonna add that fantastic marinade that we just made. You may want to taste the marinade and adjust for salt if you need to. If you want to add more salt, you can. I added an extra pinch to mine just because it, you know, kind of tasted like it and I like, you know, a little bit of salt on my protein. So added a pinch of salt, but taste as you go and adjust to your preference as always. So get all the air out of the bag the best you can. Give it a little massage. Try to make sure that all the chicken's coated and then pop that in the fridge for a couple hours. All right, so at Chipotle, they have a number of options when it comes to salsa. My personal favorite is the corn salsa, and that's the one we're making today. We're actually gonna roast the corn, though, to elevate the flavor a little bit. Here we have some corn still on the cob, oven preheated to 400 degrees. I'm gonna hit that with some AP and a little olive oil. Just make sure the corn's nicely coated. And then just roast it for about 20, 25 minutes until it gets nice and tender. A little char won't hurt either. But it'll elevate the flavor and the natural sweetness in the corn. And then we'll balance that out with a little jalapeno, some onions, some cilantro. And that is my go-to version. I like to use the corn and a little hot sauce. That's the way I like to make mine. But if you wanna throw some salsa or some pico on yours, then by all means do your thing. Next up, my friends, you got the option between pinto beans or black beans. For me, I like to go with the black beans. That's what we're making today. We're gonna go ahead and prep some bacon to add additional flavor to the beans. Again, optional. 
You can go straight from the can if you want to, but we're here to elevate the flavor and show you guys a better way to do this. More flavorful at home, way cheaper at home also. The average Chipotle bowl now, for me, after I add you know double meat and all that good stuff, is about 20 bucks. And then if you get DoorDash, after tip, after fees, you buying for four people, you might spend $65, $70 on Chipotle. For this, we're gonna get about four to six servings and it cost me less than $35. All right, so you might have noticed I chopped my bacon a little bit large. That's because we want the fat to render, be easier to scoop out. We're gonna dice this up, add it back in in a little bit. But what we got right here is that liquid gold, AKA bacon fat, that's gonna add tons of flavor to our beans. We're gonna go ahead and add one diced onion, along with one can of green chilies. This ingredient's optional here, but it's gonna add some nice flavor, a little bit of heat as well. We're gonna mix that in. Then I'm gonna add in a little bit of garlic, season it up, add the beans, a splash of chicken broth, and just let that simmer and season the taste. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and add in a tablespoon of garlic paste. Give that a good mix. I'm gonna season this with some chicken bouillon, a little oregano, some cumin, chili powder. You can throw some smoked paprika if you want to, but we got the smokiness from the bacon, so I'm gonna lay off the smoked paprika today. And go the black beans, one can. You can use fresh if you want. Just takes a long time, and I think that the, the flavor difference is relatively marginal, unless the beans are the star of the show, which they're, they're not for this recipe, so I'm using canned beans. A little chicken bouillon powder, a little AP seasoning, which is low sodium, a little oregano, and then cumin and chili powder. All right, so you wanna add that bacon in after you chop it up. Add about a half cup to a full cup of chicken broth and just let that simmer for about 30 minutes or so. All right, so the rice recipe is super simple. We need four cups of chicken broth or water. Add a little salt to that water. Then we're gonna add two cups of clean rice. Make sure you clean your rice. We're gonna give that a mix, bring it up to a boil, then reduce it down to a simmer. Just cook it per your rice package instructions. And then we'll add some lime zest, lime juice, some seasoning and cilantro. And you got your Chipotle style white rice. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and make the corn sauce. So we got the roasted corn we just took off the cob, added it to a mixing bowl. To that, we're gonna add some diced jalapeno and some red onion. Super simple recipe, guys. Great on your burritos. If you're making those at home, tacos, you can use this. Um, as a topping for that. You could also add some cotilla cheese, mayo, make like a elote situation. We're gonna add a teaspoon of fresh lemon juice. Jesus. And the juice of one lime. Then season the taste, and it's as simple as that. A little cilantro to finish. And now my friends, it's time to make our cilantro and lime rice. Very uh, classic from Chipotle, everybody likes it. We're gonna go ahead and grate in the zest of one whole lime, maybe even two. We got two cups of cooked rice right here, so I'm gonna eyeball it and see if it needs a second one. I love lime zest, so if you're not like me, you can just do one lime, but I might end up using two. And then the juice of one lime as well. And then we're just gonna season the taste, add our cilantro, and you got your rice. Now for the guac, we're gonna add our ripe avocados. Hopefully they're ripe. You never know when you get those from the store. We're gonna go ahead and use a potato masher to get in there and start to mash them up. Then once you get them where you want them, we'll start adding our other ingredients, which are comprised of red onion, tomato, jalapeno, cilantro, a little garlic, lime juice. And then we're gonna season it to taste. The best part about this is it doesn't cost you extra, like it does at Chipotle. Now, my friends, it's time to cook the chicken. It's been marinating for a couple hours. We got our skillet over medium heat. We're gonna add a little oil, and then we're gonna cook our chicken thighs until they reach 175 degrees internal temperature. 
You can uh, finish them in the oven if you want to, which is what I think I'm gonna do today. We got the oven preheated to 400 just in case. Kinda depends on how thick the chicken thighs are. We'll determine that here in a minute. Now my friends, this is the part where I ask you if you want white or brown rice and what protein. Obviously we got chicken. I'm gonna go ahead and chop up our beautiful chicken thighs. These look good, smell good too. Got a little leftover juice from the, the pan I'm gonna pour over top because no flavor left behind on our YouTube channel. I actually feel like I really work at Chipotle right now. Hit it with a little bit of juice, a little finishing salt. Okay, skip you on that on at Chipotle, not here. And this is the part where I say, brace yourself for a trademark money shot. Say it with me, guys. Looking good. The only thing left to do is digging for the taste test. But before we do that, please take a quick second to subscribe to the channel. Make sure you hit that bell to enable notifications as well. All right, people. Last application is a little hot sauce. Gotta have that. And then we're just gonna mix this together. I would shake it, but I don't wanna make a mess. Just like you would your Chipotle bowl. Make sure everybody gets to know each other a little bit. Make sure you get some guac, cause you know you paid extra for that. Home of the truth. Not ever go back. Cut, missed. Let me do it again. <laughs> Wait for accuracy. So Chipotle has three different sauces. They have the uh, mild version. They have pico. I'm sorry. They got three. Is it three or four? They got the hot. They got red, pico, green, pico, red, green, and corn. So it's four. Yeah. All right, so at Chipotle, they got four different options when it comes to salsas. They have uh, pico, they have the mild version, the green. Oh, pico is the mild version, right? What am I saying? Just say they got multiple. All right, yeah. <laughs> 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 